Up next is the man entering his fourth season as head coach is the Miami Red Hawk football team, a team coming off a 2-10 and 10 mark in 2006, battled their way through injury to a share of the Mac East Championship in 2007 with one of the youngest teams in the country then. The Red Hawks lose 13 seniors from last year's team and will once again face one of the toughest schedules in the country this fall. To talk about the upcoming 2008 campaign and the class of 18 incoming freshmen that signed their national letters of intent today, please welcome head coach Shane Montgomery. Coach, 18 players signing letters of intent today, most of them on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, tell us about your strategies, what you were looking for as you and your staff went out and recruiting this. Well, Bake, I think the thing that's uh, very key is, you know, last, the last two years we've had two small senior classes, uh, 12 uh, two years ago, 13 last year. But because of a number of injuries, uh, we put in a number of kids on medical hardship. We've had some kids that have decided to graduate early we've been able to recruit two big classes. Uh, last year at this time, we went in thinking maybe we'd only sign 10 or 12, but that class quickly became 18. Uh, there were some needs that, that we had. You know, we've, we've had a relatively young football team the last two years. There were needs on both sides of the ball, I think, as we enter this spring. Uh, especially on defense, we're going to be as deep as we've ever been. I think we're about three deep at each position offensively. I think we feel really good with where we at, or with where we are at most positions. We are going to be a, a team that uh, doesn't have much depth on offense. So I think that's why you saw a lot more offensive players added this year. Mm -hmm. With 18 kids, and you know, it's always interesting to me to see where our recruiting class comes from. I, you know, we've talked about international players the recruiting close to coast. Sometimes you have to do that as well, but sometimes. Sometimes you're lucky enough to be able to stay at home for the most part. And with this class out of 18 kids, you have uh, several from Ohio uh, and uh, also uh, you know, from the, the area, from Pennsylvania and Illinois. You really got to stay at home for the most part, at least in the Midwest. Yeah, I think that's, that's always been our base. You know, We're going to start in the state of Ohio. Ohio is probably one of the top five or six high school football states in the country. And we're going to continue to do that. I think right now, I think 60 to 65 percent of our roster, especially scholarship players, is from the state of Ohio. We're able to get into some areas like Chicago, like Atlanta, that has been very successful for us in the past. And also, those are two areas that we have a large alumni base. Those are two of our uh, biggest alumni bases in the country. So when we're when we're uh, able to go into those types of, of, of states and cities, those people are really familiar with Miami University. Mm -hmm. Let's break it down here and talk about these 18 young men that will be Miami Redhawks next season, starting with the offensive signees. We'll go by position, a quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, a tight end, and four offensive linemen. Let's start with the quarterback, 6'3", 185 pounds from Ada, Ohio, Zach Dysert. Zach Dysert it will be a perfect fit for our offense. Uh, we feel like the last two years – we have signed the top quarterback in the state of Ohio, starting with Clay Belton last year, this year in Zach Dicer. A young man, as you can see, passed for over 11,000 yards and 100 uh, touchdowns during his career, uh, won a lot of football games, uh, probably could be a uh, basketball player in college, probably could be a baseball player, talking to a lot of the coaches up uh, in his, at his high school in his area. Uh, hockey might be his best sport. Uh, I told Rico he's not going to be able to have him, but, uh, <laughs> but he's, a, he's a young man that fits our style of offense. He's played a lot of football. He's, he's thrown the ball a lot, so that make, should make an easy transition for us. Okay, running back. Uh, first of all, we want to mention that uh, you have a new player on campus that won't be eligible until 2009, but is here on campus, and that's Quin Quincy Landingham, a transfer from the University of, of Wisconsin. Well, actually, two of the three running backs that are mentioned on paper are actually on campus right now. Uh, we got a young man, Quincy Landingham, from the Detroit, Michigan area. He transferred in this semester from the uh, University of Wisconsin. He played last year as a true freshman at running back. He was one of the top safeties. Uh, coming out uh, two years ago during recruiting. And so he's going to be a great addition to our program. He played last year as a true freshman, so he'll be able to redshirt next year and have three years left. Uh, Dan Green, a young man from Chicago, Illinois, graduated from high school early. He's already in our program. He came in a, uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, he will be a nice addition to our running back stable this spring because that is an area that uh, we're very thin with right now, especially since Andre Bratton will still be out. And also J.R. Taylor, a young man from Reynoldsburg, Columbus suburb, that uh, had a tremendous high school career. We felt like that was a need for us. We lost uh, three seniors. 
uh, off last year's team and with Andre Bratton coming back from an injury, we felt like we needed to address that position, and we felt like we did a tremendous job in doing that. You already have an outstanding wide receiver core, but you signed three young wide receivers to this core that are really going to add to that. Joe Clark from Tampa, Florida, Andy Cruz from Cincinnati and Turpin High School, and Julian Harrell from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Tell us yeah, about that. Yeah, we decided, you know, when we went into this uh, recruiting season, we probably on paper were going, only going to take two wide receivers. But as we got going, uh, we felt like it was a position where, especially if those kids have played another position, uh, we felt like in those three we could do no wrong. You know, we only lost uh, one senior off last year's team, but we've got two young men in Sean McVeigh and Jared Elliott who decided uh, one because of injury, one because of some other circumstances that they were going to go ahead and graduate. So we lost three receivers off last year's team. We had a chance to get these three receivers, and we felt like we couldn't go wrong. Uh, with our style of offense, we feel like you know you really can't have enough receivers. These three guys are guys that had uh, – multiple scholarship offers from BCS schools, and we feel very fortunate that we got them. Not only are they great players, they are big, re bigger receivers, which is something we haven't had in the last couple of years. You signed one tight end coach, and he looks to be a good one, 6'5", 250-pound Trevor Bemke from uh, Paoli, Pennsylvania. Tell us about yeah, Trevor. Yeah, Trevor's a young man. It's kind of interesting. We don't, uh, all the way out near Philadelphia, we haven't recruited on that side of the state as much as the western Pennsylvania side as far as Pittsburgh is concerned. But he was a young man that uh, we got a hold of. He actually came over here and visited this summer. Uh, was a tremendous uh, prospect, and he ended up committing to us early. Uh, he's the type of young man that uh, right now he's going to come in as a big tight end. Uh, it's hard to tell how big he'll get once he gets here. He is also a young man that did not hardly play at all his senior year. He had an injury uh, during fall camp. He decided that uh, instead of playing through the year and fighting through it and not being effective, he went ahead and had, went ahead and had surgery uh, in September and missed most of his senior year. But he did that so he'd be able to come in and be ready to go during fall camp. But he's the big type uh, of tight end that we've lacked. We've had some really athletic tight ends, but we felt like we needed a bigger body at that position. Speaking of big bodies up front, four offensive linemen that together as incoming freshmen average 6'4", 260 pounds. Brad Bednar of Mentor, Ohio, Nick Kemper from Winter Springs, Florida, Matt Kennedy from Mount Prospect, Illinois, and Andrew Phelan, a local product from Lakota West High School in Westchester. Yeah, this was one area that we really feel uh, we felt like we needed uh, to get some guys in. We signed four guys last year. We were going to take at least four this year. Uh, we felt like we got a good mix. There's a couple guys that are long. Uh, kind of a lanky frame that's going to put, going to be able to put on a lot of weight. Uh, very uh, comparative to some of the linemen we've had in the past, like a Todd Londot or a Charlie Norton. Uh, that that would be Brad Bednar and Matt Kennedy, two guys that got great frames that uh, are really good pass protectors. The other two, Nick Kemper and Andrew Phelan, are guys that uh, uh, have more weight than the other two. Andrew Phelan is. Uh, close to a 300-pounder from Lakota West. And then Nick Kemper is a young man from uh, – actually has played high school ball in Florida, but he's originally from Ohio. His father, Matt Kemper, played here back in the 80s. Uh, his mother's a Miami graduate, and they're excited about him being here. Uh, the thing that excites me about Nick is he is a, a true center – which in high school is hard to find guys that have played a lot of center, and that's going to be a position that uh, we've kind of been f filling in with one-year guys the last couple years, and I think he's a guy that can come in here and solidify that position in the next few years. As you look at this offensive class and a lot of guys, how many do you see – really impacting this team in 2008, Coach? Well, I think there's some guys that uh, will have a chance to impact. I think offensively, you always look at the skilled guys as having a chance. You know, with Zach Dysert coming in, I think if he can come in and compete, the running backs, uh, those three are going to get a chance, whether they like it or not, just because of uh, the numbers of that, at that position and in the, in the uh also, uh, because we've had a large number of injuries at that position, uh, the wide receivers, I think, will all have a chance to compete. That is one area that we will have some numbers there. I, I don't think you can have enough receivers. Uh, Trevor Bemke, again, it really depends on how he comes off the injury. But, you know, offensive line-wise, I think we'd probably like to redshirt most of those guys. That would, that's what we've always done with the offensive linemen. But if somebody's, you know, ready to come in and play, uh, we will play them. But I think, you know, that we're at a position right now where 
We don't expect many freshmen to come in and play. We did play a number of freshmen last year mm -hmm. because of some lack of depth at some positions and because we had some really good players. Yeah. Uh, these guys, if they don't have a chance to play as a freshman, they will get a chance to play very early in their career.